We're studying Haggai, a Native American Indigenous First Nations survey and timeless truths of Haggai by Robert DeCora, which can be found on nativemi.org. A survey of the book of Haggai, the human writer is named after the prophet who wrote it. The date of writing, Haggai gives precise dates when he ministered. A four-month period in the second year of the reign of Darius, king of Persia, 520 BC. See specific references to the date. Haggai 1, verse 1, 2, verse 1, 10, and also verse 20. The book of Haggai was probably written about the same time. The setting of the book of Haggai. Haggai is a prophet who ministered to the Jews, who returned to Jerusalem after the 70-year exile in Babylon. Haggai was a contemporary of the prophet Zechariah, who also returned from exile and ministered to the Jews in Jerusalem at that time. In Haggai chapter 2, verse 2, and Ezra chapter 5, verses 1, and also 6, chapter 14, both Haggai and Zechariah are mentioned. In 538 BC, Cyrus, king of Persia, who had conquered Babylon, issued a decree allowing the Jews in captivity to return to Jerusalem and rebuild the temple. Ezra 1, 2-4, 6-3-5. Zerubbabel led about 50,000 Jews on the first return. In 536 BC, under Zerubbabel's leadership, the Jews began the process of rebuilding Jerusalem, Ezra chapter 3, verses 8 to 3, chapter 5, verse 16. They set up the altar, reinstituted daily sacrifices, and laid the foundation for the rebuilding of the temple. Now, the Samaritans, the people in other surrounding territories, did not want the Jews to return and thrive in their homeland and opposed them vigorously, even writing a letter to the Persian king. As a result of the opposition, the construction work on the temple stopped, and the Jews became apathetic toward it. After the temple construction had been neglected for approximately 14 years, God sent a drought and crop failure to get the people's attention. After Darius became king of Persia in 521 BC, he authorized the removal of the construction uh, renewal of the construction work on the temple. God used Haggai and Zechariah to point out the people's improper priorities, including their lack of concern for the temple, and urge them to return to rebuilding the temple. The construction work was resumed in 520 BC. It was completed in 516 BC, as recorded in Ezra chapter 6, verse 15. See Ezra chapters 1 to 6 for more information about the period. The theme of the book of Haggai. The theme of the book of Haggai is that remnant of Jews who return to Jerusalem must reorder their priorities and complete the temple before they can expect the blessing of God in their lives. Section 5, key verse in the book of Haggai. The glory of this latter house shall be greater than the former, saith the Lord of hosts. And in this place will I give peace, saith the Lord of hosts. Chapter 2, verse 9. Now, summary of the content of the book of Haggai. Highlights of the content of the book of Haggai. Chapter 1. God uses Haggai to rebuke the people for rebuilding their own homes while neglecting the temple. And warn them that he would withhold his blessing until the people honored him. Led by the governor Zerubbabel, and the high priest Joshua, the people responded positively to Haggai's message and resumed rebuilding the temple. On chapter 2, God promises that a new temple would have greater glory than the temple built by Solomon. God also uses Haggai to urge people to remember the contrast between the lack of blessing from their failure to work on the temple and the fullness of blessing when they obeyed God. Its promises to overthrow the nations and restore the Messianic line of David. Now, how would it be a greater temple? We're going to look ahead, as Paul Harvey would say, the rest of the story. This temple would be engrandized by Herod, and Jesus the Messiah would come there. Now, interesting features related to Haggai. Haggai was the first prophet to 
minister to the Jews who returned to Jerusalem after the exile. Hagar was, repeatedly refers to the divine authority that prompted his writing. Statements thus says, Thus saith the Lord occurs 26 times in 38 verses in the book of Haggai. The ministry of Haggai can be dated more precisely than any other Old Testament prophet. Unlike most prophets, the message was well received. And Haggai urged him to resume the work on the temple. The people responded obediently. In just 23 days, the work on the temple was resumed. Chapter 1, verses 12 to 14. The temple was important in the spiritual life of the Jewish people. It was the focal point of their offerings and sacrifices, priests and worship. For purposes of clarification, the first temple is all often called Solomon's Temple. The temple that began in Haggai's day was known as Zerubbabel's Temple. The temple that existed during the Lord Jesus Christ's day was known as Herod's Temple. Herod had enlarged and aggrandized Zerubbabel's Temple. Now, timeless universal truths in Haggai. God deserves first place in your life. The Jews who returned to Jerusalem after the exile built nice houses for themselves but neglected God's temple. And God encouraged the people to get their priorities straight. When they began to put God first, God promised to bless them. Keep your priorities straight. It is easy to focus your attention on other things, but Christ should have preeminence in your life. God's presence is more important than the size or appearance of any building. When the older generation of Jews, who had seen how magnificent Solomon's temple was, realized that the rebuilt temple would be greatly inferior, they became discouraged. God responded, I am with you, and my spirit remains among you. A guy, chapter 2, verse 4 to 5. Ultimately, the Lord will take the place of all temples and church buildings. And I saw no temple in the holy city of New Jerusalem, for the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are in the midst of it. Revelation chapter 21, verse 22. Now, all 39 books can be studied. NativeMI.org. Go to Ministries and look for the Native Survey of the Old Testament by Robert Cora. Here we see the Assyrian kings who had to do with Israel and Judah. You see the prophets who ministered during that time. And then we have a chart that has all or most of the major prophets in the Old Testament. Their time of ministry, pre-exilic, during exile, post-exilic. Here we have a chronological chart of what happened. And then the next chart is going to be a chart of the Old Testament periods and people. Here we're going to look at the uh, eight, uh, both the pre-exile and then uh, coming exile. Uh, rightly dividing the word of truth. We have the Old Testament through New Testament and what was occurring both times. Use your phone to look at the QR code to look at this homework. And then we have a look at Jerusalem and the temple as they were expanded, how they were built, and then how they were destroyed and how uh, they were rebuilt. Now the next one is the overview of the Old Testament plus the individuals who from the time of Adam to the time of Jesus used the QR codes to look at the videos. Here's a complete master list of homework for all 39 books of the Bible. I encourage you to look at nativemi.org, where we have all the teacher's notes, student notes, PowerPoints, videos, everything you need, background research to get a full understanding of the Word of God and contextually how it all works out. Bringing the Lord Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord into this world.